The router by itself has no monitor from which you can view and modify its configuration. There are two different methods for connecting to the router to modify its configuration. Make a direct connection with the router through its console port, or connect to the router through the network through a Telnet session. To make a console connection, a terminal or PC running terminal emulation software is connected directly to the router. By default, your Cisco router is automatically configured to accept a console connection. However, you must have physical access to the router to make a console connection. To make a console connection in Windows, run the HyperTerminal utility. If you cannot find it on your system, you might need to install it from the Windows installation disk. When HyperTerminal starts, you will configure the connection for the router. Give it a name, select an icon if you wish, then click OK. To configure a direct connection through the COM port, select the appropriate COM port from the Connect Using drop-down list. Next, you are prompted for the port communication settings. Possible settings vary depending on the router type. In general, select 9600 bits per second and turn off flow control, except the remaining defaults. When you click OK, HyperTerminal starts the connection with the router. Press Return to get things started. On a new system, no passwords have yet been set, and you will not be prompted for a password at login. When you're finished, close HyperTerminal. Saving the HyperTerminal session saves the connection parameters you supplied when HyperTerminal started. In addition, it adds an icon to the HyperTerminal folder from which you can quickly initiate a console session with the router.